In this video, I will explain what abrasives are. Abrasives that are commonly found in grinding disc, sandpaper, and uh, polishing compounds. And by the end of the video, uh, you will know what the toothpaste is doing here next to the rock. So, to get started, let's take a look at these rocks and I'm just zooming in a little bit. You can see on the rock a couple of things. This is probably the whitest, this one is pink, this one is darker, and that one is the darkest. You can also see right away that rocks are not uniform they are composite products. You can see flakes of black in this rock. Wrong way. There, chips of black. Uh, that one is looking like uh, a flake of gold. Uh, lots of white in it. Then this one has lots of pink. Couple of this gray uh, black material. This one has even more black but still has chips of white in it. And this one is the blackest of all with uh, very little white in it. Now, what are these? All of these rock samples here are samples of uh, an igneous rock. Let me just spell igneous here for you. All of this is O-U-S, igneous rock, which means it came out of a volcano, there, magma chamber and there, it all came out of a vol volcano, and as the lava solidifies, it uh, solidifies in uh, different shapes. Not shapes, uh, that's not what I mean, uh, that, that this one is round and that one is chunky, but uh, it's got uh, darker stuff and it's got lighter stuff. Now, the lighter stuff in it, this is all granite, whatever comes out of the volcano, all of it is granite and uh, as this is not a course in geology I'm gonna make a couple of simplifications here okay all of this that comes out of the volcano is basically known as granite and granite has uh, three kind of chips or flakes in it the very dark stuff is called mica this somewhat rusty stuff that's uh, that's more like a uh, rosy but uh, the light brown stuff is feldspar. That's the spelling for it, feldspar. And the third, the uh, whitest stuff is quartz. Now, this is with some simplification, okay? Again, the lightest, whitest stuff, the silica, sorry, the quartz in it. Just waiting for the camera to focus. And there, the uh, quartz in this rock, as in any other rock, quartz is always made out of a chemical compound that's known as silica. And uh, silicon. Uh, let me see. Silicon. Oh, okay, I'm gonna spell it first. Silicon dye. That's di oxide, silicon dioxide, or uh, the chemical symbol for silicon is Si, and uh, oxygen is uh, there, and you have two of them, dioxide. There, silicon dioxide. So that's what quartz is. Uh, take a look at the uh, periodic table of elements here. Maybe let me just zoom out a little bit, so they all fit. There we have it, and. Uh, in this, maybe zoom in a little bit, just ever so gently. There you can find silica here, and uh, the proper name for it is silicon, but uh, in its compound, it's typically uh, shortened to silica. And uh, oxygen is here, so silicon forms a compound with oxygen, silicon dioxide like so. These, these rocks, granite, is typically used by the abrasive manufacturer, just gets crushed up and uh, 
sieved to uniform grades and it's uh, spread on a sheet of paper and uh, glued on it and you have a sandpaper. The uh, same manufacturing uh, process basically applies to abrasive wheels uh, except that, it's that the abrasive uh, particles are sped on a f uh, spread in layers of a fiberglass mesh. Nevertheless, they are still abrasives and they still are made of rock, ground and sieved uh, rock. Other compounds that are also found in granite are aluminum and uh, that's pretty much where I want to uh, end the list and carbon. The compounds of silicon are called, are called silica and silicates and the compounds of carbon are called carbide. I'm gonna spell this one here. Carbide. And uh, abrasives are made out of silicon oxide, quartz, aluminum oxide, aluminum carbide, silicon carbide, and a combination of uh, these things most often. You can see this printed on the packaging. Here it says uh, coated abrasive and if you look closely this one says aluminum oxide. Okay, that's uh, a little harder than quartz, a little harder than silicon oxide. It's a very good abrasive. This one here is made out of silicon carbide. Okay, now probably the most frequently found uh, abrasive material in these abrasive uh, products is aluminum oxide and I'm gonna just write AL for aluminum and uh, yeah, you know what I'm just gonna make O2 next to it so aluminum oxide and the letter A in the abrasive wheel refers to aluminum oxide and the 30 refers to its grit size and then stainless steel uh, or here is this one this one says A for aluminum oxide and this one has a grit of 60 and there's some other letters for uh, indicating some other uh, material in it. Let me see this one here. This one is also A for aluminum oxide and this one has grit 80 particles in it and some other letters and numbers follow it. So aluminum oxide is uh, the probably the most widely used abrasive. Why is that? It is because of its hardness. Come on in closer. There. In this table you can see hardness numbers and you can see the substance or uh, material. Let me just put this one under it so it's bending less. And maybe a little bit. Come on up here. Okay these hardness numbers are just relative numbers where 1 is being softest and 10 just randomly being hardest and uh, a hard, uh, materials that have uh, a hardness of 10 is diamond and uh, carbon compound, compounds as in carbides basically and if we go further down the list here you can find here uh, Minerals that you might be familiar from your diet or from your cell phone battery. Uh, talk is basically uh, the same as chalk that you uh, that people use for a chalkboard. And if they have a difference of two, for example, some materials here have a hardness of two, some others here have a hardness of four. So that means that whatever has a hardness of four is twice as hard as materials with two, or whatever mat materials have a hardness of 5 or half as hard as the materials with a hardness of 10. That's how basically these work uh, just by and large. In it you can see a couple of interesting materials. Here is your tooth, dentin. That's not the enamel on it, that's the tooth itself, uh, the inside of it, okay, not the enamel. You can see raw iron has a hardness of 4. Steel is uh, marginally harder, has a hardness of four and a half, and uh, quartz, quartz, sand, and uh, glass, because glass is also made of uh, silica, is uh, 
has a hardness of 7 and you can see that hardened steel is even harder and uh, well this one doesn't say silicon carbide but uh, it's close enough for now okay you can combine uh, silica with uh, nitrogen to make uh, silicon nitride or with carbon to get silicon carbide and they all have a hardness of about eight and a half on this relative scale invented by Mr. Mose. Uh, some of the carbides are even harder like tungsten carbide is probably the hardest. Oh there is silicon carbide. There we go. Silicon carbide with a hardness of nine. So uh, what this hardness scale, hardness scale tells us is uh, also what you can what you can abrade with what so if you have soft steel to cut let me just zoom in a little bit just give me a sec if you have mild steel to cut there with a hardness grade of four and a half then uh, aluminum oxide aluminum oxide uh, cutting disc and sending and grinding discs will do wonderfully well because aluminum oxide has a hardness that's comparable to uh, let me see where is it it's not listed here but uh, somewhere here should be listed aluminum oxide about eight eight and a half is harder than quartz uh, in this metal polish uh, it doesn't have a list of ingredients on it but the abrading particles are also very hard and very small and uh, that's how abrasive uh, these abrasive compounds work it, it's a it's a paste and you spread it on a piece of metal like uh, an exhaust that you want to polish something like that the honing honing compound here uh, works on the same principle this one is green it's got a ton of chromium in it you can see I kinda used it you can see metal dirt on it once the camera focuses uh, maybe maybe here so anyhow it's green and it's uh, used slightly it's got uh, chromium oxide in it and lastly the toothpaste let's see what the toothpaste has in it I'm just gonna zoom out so we can read the list of non-medical ingredients and uh, in it you can see the following words other than aqua which is a fancy word for water uh, just there so people who don't speak Italian can't read it uh, you can see words like uh, titanium dioxide here titanium dioxide which is white stuff and is also uh, hard uh, and you can see words like silicate here at the end it's a very small print there you can see there is silicate in the toothpaste and basically that's the abrasive particle that uh, does the cleaning part in uh, yeah, when, it, when it comes to brushing your teeth now uh, all of these are toxic heavy metals and uh, obviously if you eat toothpaste it's not gonna help your health much but uh, it does help you a lot when you use it on your teeth uh, because uh, they use silicates compounds of silicon and quartz is also silicon if you run out of toothpaste one day say uh, in a survival situation you might as well just use quartz from uh, its natural form uh, commonly called as sand so these are basically abrasive materials uh, simple simple chemical compounds made out of totally inorganic uh, elements from the periodic table and uh, and uh, this is how their abrasiveness works it's based on their relative hardness lastly do you think you can uh, do you think you can uh, file a piece of granite well let's see how this table works uh, granite uh, which is rich in quartz has a hardness of seven let me just zoom in there quartz has a hardness of seven and hardened steel is next to it which is representing your file and is just 
marginally harder than quartz. In other words, you can't and you won't be successfully filing rock. If you want to say chip carve something, you won't be successfully filing and shaping rock with a hardened steel file. To work on quartz, you need to pick something that's, uh, that's quite a bit harder. Uh, silicon carbide or something made out of diamond preferably.